Oh, the general ribs. Our main event, the unsanctioned lights out match between Powerhouse Hobbs and Ricky Starks continues. And Hobbs is just tearing Starks limb he, from limb. He just hit him across the back with that steel chair. And I'm still hearing the, uh, uh, the echoes throughout this, this arena from, from the back on the steel. Yeah, I, I just don't know with that injury how much more Ricky can take here, guys, to be honest. I mean, look oh. at this. And that the neck of Starks colliding with the chair as powerhouse Hobbs. Now thinking, oh, wait a second. Oh, my. Head first, right into that steel chair. God, Ricky, man, showing a lot of reserve here. He really is. Look at this. Ricky, the oh, DDT. Wow. High arc, and he spiked Hobbs. And now Ricky trying to end this. Goes for the cover. One, two. Oh, oh barely yeah. kicked out there. And after three championships changed hands this week, a new era begins next Wednesday at Dynamite, where we will hear from Soraya for the first time ever since her arrival in AEW. And earlier this year, New Japan Pro Wrestling Juice Robinson won a four-way match with a field that included Will Ospreay, Hiroshi Tanahashi, and John Moxley. And at Dynamite, it will be Juice and Moxley in an AEW World Championship Eliminator match. Plus, we will hear from MJF live in Philadelphia, the low blow by Powerhouse Hobbs. Who would do that? Who would use a low blow? In a pro wrestling match, well, there's I no honor in that. No, I think you can use it in a light out match, but I wouldn't advise using it in a world title. Match. I wouldn't either. There's no honor in using a low blow, Tony Schiavone. But it was the difference maker for powerhouse Hobbs. Ricky Starks, you can see, heaving for breath as Hobbs setting up the chairs facing one another. Man, this doesn't look good any way you want to slice it. I was just saying the same thing. Anytime those chairs are facing each other like that, it's never a good ending. Powerhouse Hobbs. Maybe thinking the sky high through the chairs? No. Starks. Oh, the low blow from Starks. Another low blow. No honor between these two. Downtown near the jewelry store. <laughs> Starks feeling it. the effects on that neck as he moves the chairs into another position. Oh, but this is this could be even worse if he positions them back to back. Oh no. What can he be going for now? Well, this is uh, this is. Maybe, maybe thinking the Rochambeau on the... Onto the chair. He can break his back. That's it. Starks looking for the Rochambeau, but can he get Powerhouse Hobbs no, up? No, no, no. Oh, God. The attempt. Oh, but... no. Oh, oh my the spine of Starks. Oh, my gosh. Man, this is like having a death wish for your career. Oh. There's just no way you come out of that unscathed. Those the edges of those chairs drive right to your spine. JR, we gotta take another look at this to take a page out of your book. Ricky oh, Starks was gosh. broken in half. He really was broken oh, in half. He really that. was. That can herniate a disc instantly. When you use all these different items, sometimes a mistake will cost you, and that was a mistake that cost Ricky Starks. And you can tell us also taking the toll on the on powerhouse. Oh, Running power slam into the that's sack it, of that's chairs. That's, that's got to be it. Oh. <laughs> Little bit left in Ricky Starks. Not a lot though. Let's look at this power slam again. Not a great place or way to land. Once again, like the steel stairs, there's no good way to land on, on a pile of steel chairs. Especially when you have an athlete the size of Powerhouse Hobbs driving you into those chairs. I just wonder if, the, if this pace and if the stylings that they're using, how much longer this one-on-one -on -one match can go. Yeah. Until someone just folds up, man. Oh, oh my God. gosh. I mean, that was desperation. That was a haymaker, yeah. and, and Hobbs <laughs> just ate it for lunch. Uh, but it barely phased him on Excalibur. Yeah, I mean, he just walked right through it. Just stalking his prey here. And Ricky Starks, I mean, he has taken such a beating. And now Powerhouse Hobbs looming large. Swinging a miss. Starks fires back with an elbow strike. Oh. They're laying that in, that's for sure. Lock those forearm shots. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Starks, I think he was going for the spear, but Hobbs sidestepped and Ricky Starks went face first in that light fixture. Yeah, yeah and it, the side of his head. What's he going for here? Once again, we've got all these different divots. And, and... Oh, wow. wow. Powerhouse Hobbs just ripped that light fixture off. 
powerhouse ain't no gimmick. You take it, you talk about literal lights out right there. As you can even see the extension cord. Ricky cannot even get on his feet to run away from this. I still can't believe Hobbs just pulled the lights off the wall. Yeah, we have seen a lot in lights out matches, but this is a first. That's a literal lights out. And he now can use it as a, as a blunt force weapon here. And Hobbs just taking his time, punishing Ricky Starks. Oh, this is going to be ugly. It's already been ugly. The whole damn thing's ugly, Tony. Uglier then. Okay, watch out. Hobbs. Ooh, wild swing. Here we go. And the spear. Oh, nice. Again, sometimes wow. it's a mistake. Look at the look at the eyes of Ricky Starks. It's He's, almost as if Ricky's got one last stand. One more at bat. You smell the blood in the water, JR. This may be the opening. Absolute Ricky Starks needs. Over the years, I've caught a lot of lights out matches. This one's gonna rank right up there with the top of any of them I can recall. They built a great match here, but it's not great for Will Hobbs right now. And Starks now with the light and oh, oh just Lord of mercy. Crack the skull of powerhouse Hobbs. Ricky Starks, the double underhook. He's got Hobbs up. Oh, big man here. He's got him, he's got him, he's, he's got, got him. him. Row, sham, oh, Roll him over. If you can. One, two, three! He got him! Great match! The revenge of Ricky Starks! Absolute Ricky Starks! It took the very best that Ricky Starks had to beat Powerhouse Hobbs, but that's exactly what he used to get the job done. And JR, it may have taken months, if not years, off the careers of both men. I agree.